Hello YouTube. In this video I will be showing you how I can turn into a loudspeaker with Home Assistant using text-to-speech. This is Google Mini from Digital Spring Media. Please subscribe and like. Let's get started. Welcome to this coding session where we're going to go and explore some of the automation. So as you've seen previously in the intro of this video, uh, we've got a Google Mini here, which sort of we've got over here, and we're going to try and do some text-to-speech automation. So the, the real meaning of this is when things happen in your home, we got to want Google to announce it. So it's either giving us a prompt, so it's like a call to action for us to do something, uh, or just a simple notification. So what we're going to be trying to do today is, so we've got a uh, downstairs uh, toilet in the UK, we call it, we, we, we also call it a loo, um, whereby if you leave the light on for more than, uh, say, five minutes, then probably someone's forgot about it. We don't want a motion sensor in there because the, the, the thing, difficult thing is that if, you st if you're in there, you know, you um, you might need to, you know, move your arms around. Uh, and that might not be the best thing to do. So um, we got to opt for this, this option. Um, this is a little bit of fun, actually. So the first thing you want to do is log into your home assistant. And I've got a blank card here in the overview section. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding in, I'll go on configure UI, and I'll add in a media player. So I'm going to add in the Google Mini. Right, so I'm picking this media control card. I'm going to going to pick the kitchen speaker. I'm going to say save. Perfect. So I'm going to give this a go now and try and that. So let me send me let's say something. Let's say hello. Hello. Perfect. So I'll show you that again. You can input text here and you can press send and that will like broadcast a message to your speaker. So we're going to turn on the light and we'll turn it off later. But we'll turn on the light and see what happens. Well, at the moment, nothing's going to happen because we haven't set the automation yet. But I'll add the light card here. So I'm going to go light. And I've got downstairs loop, perfect. Save. And I can go back of ed out of this editing mode. Right, so here you just tap on this on. Off. No announcement. No announcement. So just for this uh demo i'm going to set a five second timer so if so the light has to be on for five seconds then google will play the message reality maybe you want something like i don't know five ten fifteen minutes twenty minutes it guess depends on your use case and you can use this for any light like an outdoor light um, a front porch light or any light or the attic light that you might not see it's on but it's on. You might not be checking your home assistant uh, dashboard. So let's navigate to the file editor. Perfect. So we've got, so you need to go and do your automations.yaml file. So you can navigate to it through the browse file system if you haven't got it already open. So I'm going to start writing some code now. So it's always good practice to start with a comment and basically um, stating what this automation is about. So I'm going to say checking if any if any light on too long. This is quite a bit more generic, and I'm going to put uh, okay. 
perfect. So first thing you need, yeah, you need an ID. So it's going to be quite useful to identify uh, in Home Assistant. You can track the states of the automation. So I'm going to call it Lou Lights Vacation. So I'm going to give this a little space here. Okay, so it's a little bit of space here. Uh, I'm going to create an alias. So this is like a friendly name. So trigger. So trigger is is the what triggers the automation. So what's the starting point in your in the automation? So here you can here's where you need to put in um, things that actually make sense to you, and it's going to be you can customize this. But I'll give you my example. The first thing you need to set is a platform, and the platform is state. So we're tracking the state of. Um, of an entity so in this case we're tracking the state of the downstairs light so the light can only be on or off just to just to explain that to you that's what the state is and the entity id is the actual uh, id of the of the, it's the identifier of the loop of, of the light so this is something you will need to look at in your system what is the entity name so my so normally it's a light dot. This is the name I set. Dan says loop. So I want this to trigger only when we're going from off to on. So this is basically means every time the state is off and it goes to on, then this guy would trigger so action is the what so what happens what happens when the tr we trigger okay so we're going to use the TTS service so it's this so we're going to call a service and TTS it stands for text-to-speech so this is sort of Google's standard service and we call it by using TTS dot Google say And here we need to pass data to the service. First thing we're going to um, do is we're going to identify the Google Mini. So what is the um, identifier for this? So we're looking at the entity ID, entity ID. And this is a media player, player. Kitchen speaker, even if we're not in the kitchen, but that's where it's supposed to be. So here we can set a message. So and turn the lights off in the downstairs. Toilet. Right, so that's the message. So this is the message that Google's going to um, it's going to send out basically. So I think this it looks good. I'll have a look. So I think we're missing. You got a column here. So the reality is that when you do these automations, you can always miss out um, miss out something. So it, it's okay to get it wrong. I mean, it doesn't work the first time. Remember to save the file up here and above and here we can restart reload the automations part so this is going to basically uh, ensure that home assistant's got the latest version of your automation so go reload I say yes and reload it yep good 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 so now <clears throat> theoretically every time we turn the light from off to on this would this would trigger Turn the lights off in the downstairs toilet. Perfect. So that did work. So if I turn it off again, no message. No message, right? Turn the lights off in the downstairs toilet. On again. 
off. So let's say we want Google to be a little bit more polite. So we gotta go and say thank you message. So let's try. So we want a thank you message. So um, a lot of the times developers just copy and paste and that's what you should do also. Sort of it'll be easier. So I'm gonna call this thank you. Thank you notification. I'm gonna call this cute notification. So the entity is gonna be the light. So what we want to do is every time, so we reverse it. So every time the state goes from on and off, Google will go and say thank you. So this all stays the same. We need to change the message. Thank you for turning off the light. Have a great day. I don't know. So I'll save this. And we'll reload. Reload automation. Reload it, let's see. Turn the lights off in the downstairs toilet. Okay. Thank you for turning off the light. Have a great day. Very, very, very kind of Google. So uh, let's add in the five second feature. So let's add in the actual um, time. So. Sorry, I didn't understand. Google stop. Okay. So I was saying, let's add in the time limit so the condition uh, we call it it's called the for condition so what this means is how long has the state transitioned from off and on so we want it to be off and on for at least well we're going to say five seconds just for the sake of the video so we express this by using zero 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 so zero zero and these are the seconds so that this is going to be five seconds yeah, five seconds. I had a comment here by using the hash, so I remember what this means. But this would be five seconds, five minutes, five hours. Just to, to save this. So now this will only trigger when when it's been on and off. So when it's been off and on for five seconds. Reload automation. Yes. So let's give it. Let's give this a go. New off. Thank you for turning off the light. Have a great day. So we had the off message because that hasn't changed. But the, as you notice, the on message didn't trigger. I'll try again. Now let's see if it does trigger. Turn the lights off in the downstairs toilet. Cool. That and off. Thank you for turning off the light. Have a great day. Perfect. 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 So let's add a four in this. So I just copy this. Save it and reload. And automation, yes. Turn the lights off in the downstairs toilet. Thank you for turning off the light. Have a great day. Okay, so 
the delay on turning off it's five seconds after you've turned it off so that's quite interesting perfect so this is really a little experiment you can use any um, anything emotion center uh, I think you you can do many many things so I'll, I'll explore in future videos other cool things you can do with text to speech you can announce people arriving at home announce people leaving um, send messages like to sensual burglars um, you know motion sensors have been triggered so we'll, we'll, we'll do many more of these in, in the coming videos and uh, if you've enjoyed this please subscribe this was Gio from Digital Spring Media uh, and yeah just like and comment and just suggest any 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 automation ideas you want me to try out and I'll give them a go.